Right, my multimeter turned up so I can measure the capacitance of this thing, the motor run capacitor. I changed it in a video a while ago, uh, but I didn't have a multimeter that measures capacitance. So now I've got one. I've actually got two multimeters because I ordered this run first. And when it turned up, I thought, oh, no, it doesn't do capacitance. Although that's got a capacitor symbol on there. And then when I logged on to eBay and had a look what I bought, it actually doesn't do capacitance. So I ordered the wrong thing. I'll show it to you. But yeah, see, it says it's got that on the symbol there. But this is the, where's the model? She's got no model on this one. So it says Uni-T and no model. So the picture doesn't match what's in it. But when I checked what I ordered, I did order. I think it's the C. We'll have a look. And here it is. Yeah, so it doesn't match the picture. So the picture has got capacitance right at the top. And this has got hertz. And no capacitance. And then when I looked, well, I did order the UT139C. And then when I looked on the internet, that one doesn't have capacitance, so I ordered the wrong thing. Silly me. Okay, so this one's the UT892. UT892, and it's got capacitance. So that's good. So far, so good. I'll just open it up and see what it needs in terms of batteries and get it going. I can't work out how to get the battery cover off. Must have to take this um, red surrounding off it. The other one you didn't, it's, it's, there was a screw on the back. I could just read the instructions. Or maybe not. I think this is showing you here. So take off the back, the, the red bit, this bit, and the battery set up in there. Whereas the other ones, the battery sit in here. Quite a tight fit, but not too bad. There's the screw. Let's go and get a screwdriver. Two double A's. Okay, so there's voltage. I've got it hooked up. I'm using these alligator leads. It does come with some reasonably nice feeling silicon leads and probes. But I want to use the alligator lead that I've got. So I've got it set up, ready to go. Negative's on, positive's not. Uh, I'm going to put on capacitance and that nothing and hook this up ready set go is that 30 nanofarads of oh, 300 nanofarads there you go well, about 300 close enough and it's a supposed to be 1.2 microfarads. So 300 nanofarads is about a quarter of what it should be. So 1.2 microfarads is 1200 nanofarads. And this is 300, so it's a quarter of what it should be. And that's why the fan was running really slow. If I measured the other one and I put it in, it would have been closer to 1.2. Okay, there you go. Good little exercise. I was doing some research, and as far as I can tell, in terms of, um, I suppose, budget multimeters, these things are pretty good. Um, they get a good, decent name, or decent, uh, decent reviews. And it was about $60, I think, Australian. So 60 bucks, that's what's that about, um, I don't know, 90 bucks American something like that as opposed to something like this uh, several hundred dollars now get a new one of these this is 75 I think it's 77 is dearer can't remember but um, I bought this a long time ago and you know great multimeter but very expensive when you can buy one of these for a fraction of the price and you get capacitance